YouTube, this is ITG Mac Attack, and I've got the Lacey Rugged Mini, one terabyte model hard drive in front of you. This is a 5400 RPM uh, disk speed, and then uh, a little bit about this is only USB 3.0 with backwards compatibility to 2.0. So um, it's just one input input in. One thing that kind of sucks about it, it's got its uh, peripheral style plug-in for the USB 3.0. It's only got one cable in there, so I can imagine if you lose the cable, finding another one uh, probably be a pain. So you might be paying a little bit out of pocket just to get one of those cables back in. So that kind of sucks about it. But other than that, there's no Firewire, there's no Thunderbolt on this model. This is a older model, but I picked it up today for $119.99. Uh, so $120, I figured is a fair price. Uh, I get shock resistance, uh, rain resistance. Uh, you know, it can take pressure, so you can drive, uh, I think it boasts like a one-ton vehicle driving over the model, etc. It does come with some software that you can use for it, like passive protection. There's uh, a driver that you can run if you have a, a Mac that can boost speeds up to 30%. So on the back of it, it has USB 3.0, but the 6 seconds and reference to the 2.0 is actually a 7200 RPM model, which would be like the 500 gigs. Um, one thing that's kind of cool about these is that a lot of people don't gotta make sure that they understand is that when they both speeds you gotta make sure that the actual model you're getting is the same that they're uh, bragging about on speed so if you do get a Thunderbolt 1 you gotta make sure that if you got Thunderbolt plus SSD you're getting amazing speeds as opposed to Thunderbolt with just a 5400 RPM actual hard disk drive so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, this is actually something that I just picked up so I can kinda move a lot of my photos and videos from my Mac uh, and a couple external hard drives all into this one hard drive and put it in the safe and just kind of keep it there until I get a G raid uh, set up. Um, so this is kind of my backup and then also we'll run a time machine backup on a Western Digital uh, powered uh, hard drive that I have to the side. So I'm trying to just clean up a lot of my digital data so I figured I could get this one right here and pick it up and then Whenever I get my new setups, I can always have this one for a backup to keep around and carry around just because it's kind of a rugged hard drive. You don't have to really uh, take a lot of care with it like some of my other hard drives, which here's a few of them. This is a uh, 60 gig hard drive that I took outside of my original uh, 60 gig PS3 and then bought this enclosure for it when I upgraded it to a 250 gig hard drive back in the day. So I have some stuff on here. Uh, it's just a, a cheap enclosure, etc. It's a cheap setup, but it's a it's a good hard drive. It's lasted for a while. Then I also have some Seagate hard drives, like the one here that I have, and then I have some other ones that are on TVs, etc. So with this model here, uh, you kind of get the ruggedness. You don't have to really uh, carefully carry this one. So let's go ahead and get it open and see what's inside of this thing. Okay, so nothing really fancy on the packaging material, but the, again, this is like 2011, 2012, I guess. I mean, this is like a, a, a quite a you know an old hard drive, but uh, needless to say, it's got USB 3.0. This is the uh, peripheral jack that I was telling you about. It kind of looks like a uh, mini USB with a micro USB set up inside of it kind of mixed together so uh, and then there's a USB 3.0 you kind of see the signature blue and here's the actual hard drive the hard drive in comparison to like a Seagate uh, here's a Seagate model uh, it's just USB 2.0 this is an older model this is actually 500 gigs uh, hard drive but you can kind of see the comparison uh, and then it's got this thick kind of rubber otter box style uh, plastic rubber around it and then it's got the aluminum on the inside so it's pretty stout I mean it's got a lot of weight um, putting pressure on it it's not bowing like this model here is plastic if I put pressure on it it will bow in so I won't do that um, just in reference to like say an iPhone uh, this is an iPhone 5 so in reference to an iPhone 5 this is kinda what you're looking at so uh, and thinness it's not very thin but you get the kind of the ruggedness and kind of the carefree to throw it in a bag and go. It does say it's rain resistance, uh, so it has that against it. 
but it doesn't have any cover. So like the newer models, they actually have uh, the rubber piece that will go over this and cover up those ports. So I feel more uh, trust or, you know, more confident with one of those hard drives as opposed to this model here. So with that being said, this is pretty much all you get inside the packaging is the hard drive, the cable, and some warranty information, which is probably a limited warranty. But that's that's it. So there you have it. This is the Lacey model Rugged Mini 1 terabyte hard drive. This is 5400 RPM. Um, I'll do some speeds to kind of show moving files because I'm going to be doing a lot of moving files and kind of put it showing you what it will feel like with a, I have a 2012 MacBook Pro um, that does have 3.0 as well as Thunderbolt, but as you can see, there's no Thunderbolt set up and then show you kind of have, you know, have an idea of what it's actually going to be running at speed wise. But there you have it. This is the Lacey model. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. Um, and if there's anything you want to see with this model or have questions about, just shoot me a message and then I'll definitely try and get them answered. But there you have it. Thanks for watching.